The number one is Mr. Torch BT's 8088. The CSA certified Mr. Torch BTS 8088 is a great choice for gas welding thanks to features like a focused flame and an ergonomic handle that's easy and comfortable to grip. Not only is it very well made, it's more affordable than most others like it. This product is available on Amazon for $38. This product is rated with 4.6 stars from 66 customer reviews, a customer said. I was extremely impressed with this torch, it's rugged, feels solid, trigger is spot on, good flame control and superior to torch heads 4x as expensive, really. Another happy customer said. And same as the Burnzomatic TS8000 for this purpose, at lower cost. It seems more efficient than the Searsol, too. The flame is constant when the torch is inverted and the construction looks sturdy. My only complaint is that the flame doesn't always ignite with the first trigger pull, but no big deal. An unhappy customer said. I purchased this torch tip for soldering copper water lines and minor automotive repairs. The quality of this item leaves a lot to be desired. The tip wiggles around in the frame and feels like it would fall out. The flame adjustment knob has a grinding feel when you twist it and wiggles from side to side. I have had difficulty keeping this torch lit when I adjust the angle more than 90 degrees. I would recommend purchasing a better quality product. The next product on our list is Red Dragon VT330. One of the most popular kits in America, the Red Dragon VT 3-30 is capable of producing up to 1.5 million BTUs. Its intense heat levels make it great for sterilizing metal as well as stripping paint, oil, and plastic in a hurry. This product is available on Amazon for $70. The average rating of this product is 4.3 stars with more than 272 customer reviews, a customer said. Comparing to my dad's Harbor Freight Torch, this one is an upgrade in a couple of regards, stays lit at both full power and low flame. Will tolerate a brisk wind and rapid changes to the input knob. The hose is long enough to actually walk around a bit and do some work. Probably my favorite thing is that the design is modular and simple. The kit is just an ensemble of quality parts that are otherwise common. Meaning that in a pinch you could replace the hose or valve at your local hardware store. I also appreciate that all the bits like the igniter and hose are made in America. It's always a little kick in the nards when you spend on American and all the cables, connectors, widgets are made in China. Another happy customer said, We recently bought a house in the Denver area with a north-facing driveway, very bad for ice in the winter. I didn't want to completely pollute the fish waterways our street drains into, so I looked for alternatives. This product is fantastic for melting ice. I wait until dusk when it's freezing outside, and hit the problem areas. It is so hot it evaporates the water in seconds. Loads of fun and it feels totally anti-PC, but it actually is good for the environment while shocking your liberal neighbors. Can't wait to torch some weeds in the spring, highly recommended product. Only odd thing upon shipping the little pill of thread tape was liquid, literally, but super cheap to buy locally, under a buck. The next product in our list is Burnzomatic TS8000. The Burnzomatic TS8000 is an extremely convenient device that attaches directly to a one-pound bottle to form what's commonly known as a blowtorch. It operates using a simple trigger and has a lock button to keep it running for continuous use. The price approximately $43. This product is rated with 4.7 stars from 2,631 customer reviews, a customer said. 
This is the second Burnzomatic torch of this style that I've owned. This newer model puts out much more heat than my first one. If you ever own a swirl flame style torch you'll never go back to the pencil tip. You can turn down the valve so that you can still get a pencil tip, but you can turn it up for some serious heating and brazing. If you try this with the cheap torches, you'll blow out the flame well before you get a flame like this. There have been a number of critical reviews on it not lighting easily. There is a technique whereby you partially pull the trigger until the gas is flowing and then pull it the rest of the way to ignite the gas. A quick pull will create a spark before the gas is flowing and not light the first try. One more nice characteristic is that this torch will light whether you have it set at a small flame or turned up hot. Traditional torches always have to be turned down for them to light. Another happy customer said, This is a four-way review perhaps most relevant to sous vide cooks, 1, heat gun, 2, torch, 3, searsalt, 4, fan nozzle first purchase, the Porter Cable PC1500HG electric heat gun, but found it lacking for finishing meat cooked sous vide. At the time of purchase, I was not aware of the fan nozzle. However, it is a great heat gun. Cost $28.30 next purchase, the popular Benzomatic TS8000 torch and the companion Searsol torch attachment. The torch is a great replacement to my old propane torch, particularly the instant on, off, and the Searsol adds functionality as shown in numerous YouTube videos. Cost $40 torch, $75 Searsol, total $114. Then I discovered the Porter Cable fan nozzle that fits the Porter Cable PC1500HG heat gun, making it almost as efficient as the Searsol and torch for searing meat. And I can use the Porter Cable heat gun indoors with the meat on a cheap, steel, jelly roll pan, which I usually place on my gas range just in case some hot air strays beyond the edges of the pan. Put the nozzle a fraction of an inch above the meat, and it sears rather quickly. Cost, $11.44, yes. I paid 10x the cost of the nozzle. An unhappy customer said, Torch broke the small hole in the bottom starter leaking gas turning into unstoppable fire, huge fire hazard and unsafe. Had to wait until the tank runs out of gas before I could unscrew it contacted warranty service since it was under one year, never got a reply back, what a terrible service. The next product in our list is JJ George Weed Burner. Most wand style devices require large and heavy tanks, but the JJ George Weed Burner is meant for use with smaller ones, so it's far more portable than much of the competition. It has a reliable self-lighting mechanism, so you won't have to carry around a striker. This product is available on Amazon for $106. The average rating of this product is 5 stars with more than 172 customer reviews, a customer said. So like many of us I wanted to get away from using Roundup, Glyphosate. Was not really able to find many alternatives with good reviews. I also tried the natural root of vinegar, soap, salt, it only worked on fragile weeds, but not on the tough ones or grass. I was on the internet one day searching for alternatives and I stumbled upon a steam weeder that uses hot steam to kill weeds, but it was big, heavy and expensive. Then I saw this, actually a different brand and started researching, Weed Torch. I wanted one that uses the green Coleman type propane cause I use them for my camping lanterns and stoves and also for my hurricane kit and don't want to have to buy another type of gas canister. Plus I have a bunch of the green propane bottles that are 10 to 15 years old, rusting, that I can now use up and buy new ones so it was a win-win. 
there is a little bit of learning curve. How high to turn the gas up and how far above the weed to hold the torch. You'll figure it out quick, don't want to be too close. 4 to 5 inches works best. This. Another happy customer said. To be honest I have not used it yet but based on product quality I'm looking very forward to killing weeds in my parking lots. Okay since that wouldn't be fair I went ahead and took it to the backyard and started torching some weeds. I tried it at different flame levels and we'll see how quickly they die. And as long as they die, even at a low flame setting, maybe they take longer, I don't care as long as they die. Turn up all the way the flame was super hot and torched great. So it's been months now. For my commercial properties, it's still better to spray the weeds. But for my garden where I don't want chemicals all torch. An unhappy customer said. This is probably not what you want to use to kill large areas of weeds. Its best application is to do selective knockdowns of a few weeds that are close to other vegetation where you don't want to use weed sprays. It gets tedious real fast to cover large areas. Of course if it's just a couple of weeds you could just saturate the soil with water and come back a few minutes later and just pull them out with your fingers. I found it most useful to light my barbecue pit that uses red oak wood. I have no objection to using charcoal lighter fuel but this is an alternative if you choose to use it. Mostly I use my Boy Scout training of starting with kindling and work up which requires just one match. It's lightweight and the remote start is great when windy conditions blow out the flame. It's okay if you have difficulty bending to pick out a few weeds. Great for seniors. The next one is Red Dragon VT223C. If you don't need the absolute hottest option, consider the Red Dragon VT223C, which is less powerful and less costly than others, but is great for homeowners who want to fight weeds. It's made in the USA and comes with a dependable regulator and a 10-foot hose. This product is available on Amazon for $57, check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 4.5 stars from more than 1279 customer reviews, a customer said. Worth the money, and time. But you have to know how to use it. The flame doesn't need to be full blast, you'll just be wasting propane. A 20 hash tank should last 3 to 4 hours. Get a decent flame blowing and wave the end just above the tops of the weeds, long enough to see the leaves wilt slightly, they'll turn slightly darker color. This causes the water in the cells to boil and burst the cell structure, killing the leaf feeding system. This takes only about one-tenth of a second of heat to accomplish. The grass, leaves don't need to brown or burn, again this just wastes propane. Within hours they'll brown out by themselves. Now, you haven't killed the root, which has X amount of stored energy in it. So after winning your first fiery battle, the weed will fight back, using its reserves to sprout more leaves. Give it two to three weeks to try and rebuild, then go back and flame that new growth down again by the same process. Typically the first flaming kills the annual weeds, but the tougher perennial weeds could take two to four times before the root energy is depleted and they're dead dead. Then it's just light maintenance for any new seed. Another happy customer said. Pumpkin. It's just that I'm tired of putting those poisonous chemicals in our garden. This is the most eco-friendly way to kill all those weeds it would be irresponsible not to buy it. I spent the afternoon vaporizing weeds and wayward grass in our large garden bed. It's a hell of a lot more fun than pulling them or using Roundup. Here are a few things I learned that might be helpful. Weeds don't stand a chance and it's not looking too good for you if you're a stink bug either. I like to pretend the weeds are little ISIS militants and I'm all as messenger speeding them to their date W Destiny and 72 virgins. 
easy to see how this flame could get away from you. I recommend pre-wetting the battlefield, particularly when it's dry. Also, it sounds obvious but take a look at the area you're working. Before I noticed, I was up against a wooden fence vaporizing stink bugs and grubs. It was a little damp out so I wasn't worried about the fence but then it occurred to me the fence had recently been sealed. I backed off and fortunately didn't find out how flammable that particular brand of sealant was. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.